yesterday because I decided it would be my pajama shirt now and it's super comfortable so I wore it yesterday after I took a shower and today I'm wearing it before because it's too comfortable and I love this shirt it's do you want to be a millionaire shirt because my uncle was actually uh he auditioned to be on it and I don't think he was but he tried um but yes today is day number two of learning Swedish for 90 days and it is currently 12 25 so we're starting off a lot earlier than we did yesterday but um, we don't have a good drink. This is from uh, the, a store here in town called Takara. And it's like a cute little like, Japanese convenience store. And um, I got this. It's like it's sparkling water or a might good could be soda. I don't know. It's not very good. Tastes disgusting. So I'm going to throw it out. Not the cup. But the drink, yeah. I thought maybe I'd have like one more drink and maybe my mind would change, but no, my mind doesn't change. I don't drink soda, so we're tossing it away and I won't buy any more. Men, uh, day two, how are we going? Um, 30 minutes of memorize is a lot, but I decided I would kind of like do a random number generator type like situation to kind of see like what topic I would practice so I didn't just go through the topic pew, pew, pew. You know what I mean? Kind of like how you're supposed to do like Duolingo where you do a tree method. We're going to do it like that here. So it's going to be like connect the dots or whatever because it's not in a tree. Um, but because I did memorize for the day. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's not, that's not a check mark. That's, <laughs> that's a V. Anyway, Memorize is done. I have a lot of things on this to-do list today. I have link, review, and new lessons. Review Legome, le, Legome plus new checkpoints. So review what I read yesterday and then read a few more in this book. Um, memorize, you already did. Say it in Swedish, beginner number one and number two courses. And then review, say it in Swedish, absolute beginner, Swedish negations. And take some notes on that. Because it talks about inte, which is not and I want to take some notes on that and kind of like see just do a little bit more on that so it kind of looks like a lot but when I said it out loud it doesn't seem like a lot but it's gonna be three hours worth for sure I think I actually need to do a little bit more memorize just to hit my daily goal on memorize for new words so I might do a little bit more of that and then I'm going to move on to probably this just because I'm kind of tired of looking at a computer screen and the rest of that is on a computer so I think I might review what I did yesterday and then re do some new checkpoints for the day so yeah so this is the current setup because we're learning about verb endings or noun endings what am I learning about I don't know um but <laughs> there's no way to like know what it will be it's just kind of like memory and so he suggests that we just learn the plural with the singular form. So I'll try and keep that in mind. But, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff here. So I'm going to read through it again. And then I'm going to start taking some notes on it. And this is just on N words. And then it goes into et as well. And uh, this looks, this might be useful. I don't know how far, I never, I don't know how far to judge how far, how, what, when is too much? When do I stop? All right, it's official. At words, they're my favorite. So let me open up this guidebook. And I don't know if I want to use a tassel bookmark or a magnetic bookmark. So I'm using both right now because why not? But there are points 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 dedicated to talking about the ending 
or the plural form of the n nouns. And then point 12 is dedicated to et nouns. And this is all you need to know about et words. Et words ending on a vowel get the plural suffix n. Et words ending on a consonant get nothing added to them at all. And then we move on. So, I, uh, et words. Love you. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, and look, I have two tassel bookmarks. I actually have four, but look at that. They're Swedish colors. I think I have a problem. <laughs> uh, aesthetics are pleasing to me. But yes, I did some, I took notes. This is page two and page one. Tried to make them look pretty as well. And yeah, so now I think I'm going to clean up my room. It's a mess and so is my desk. And then... We'll see, but I'm going to put some headphones in, listen to some Swedish tunes, and uh, just clean my room. Because like I said, it's a mess and it needs to be cleaned. check marks alrighty so as you saw I have done my link for the day and I am not leaving link as competent as yesterday and like I absolutely bombed my link review like my fun like little SRS system review something whatever it is yeah absolutely bombed it I was not very good at it at all not to mention, like, the review was just not very good, and it was just, it was embarrassing. <laughs> it was not good at all. So, uh, I hope to improve later. Maybe I should start with Link every day. I don't know. I did add some new N words to my list. These could be incorrect, but this, because this is based off my own assumptions that I saw and then made um, while taking it, but moron is moronen, kvel is kvelen, and orð is orden, um, from what I put together. Um, and yeah, so that's Link. So then I just have reviewing the Swedish nego negotiations from Absolute Beginners, Sweden Swedish courses, and then Beginner 1 and 2 of Sage in Swedish. <laughs> and then I'll have to put any of the vocabulary I get into Anki, and then I'll be done for the day. And it is currently 6.52. So I did not even do link for an hour because I started at six o'clock but I honestly like I did not want to do another lesson in link today just because I was failing so bad uh, with my uh, review and stuff like that so I just decided to call it quits for the day so not exactly an hour but kind of an hour no no we're not gonna do that um, I think I think what I'm gonna do now is because like I'm just kind of like brain dead from Link. So I think I'm going to load up YouTube on the computer or maybe no on the computer, not on the no, on the TV, not the computer. And I think I'm going to watch an episode of something on Netflix in Swedish with Swedish subtitles. I'm not going to understand a single thing except the few words that my mind is like, oh, you know that one. Oh, you know that one. But men. Um, I'm also going to put my notebook in front of me and I'm going to write down five words that I don't know while watching the show. I'm not going to write down every word I don't know because I did that back in August with Troll Hunters or early September with Troll Hunters and I wrote like 170 words down because I obviously don't know very much at all and I have only put 25 into Anki so therefore 
that was a waste of my time. And so if I do five words instead of 175, it's more of a digestible chunk. And I think it's just a lot better way to approach this whole learning with television. I know what show I'm going to watch. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to see it as well. It's going to be a kid show because there's an abundance of kid shows on Netflix and Swedish. Um, because, like, I think it's a law. Like, it's sweet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to, like, regurgitate something I heard that could be incorrect. But I'm just saying, uh, there's so many animated kid shows on Netflix in Swedish. And I love animation and I love kid shows. So it's perfect for more. But let's go watch some TV. my camera into my computer <laughs> whoopsies hey it is now 9 45 oh 9 45 what the heck where did time go it was just eight a little bit ago but i i did it everything is done um the say it in swedish beginner number one and beginner number two were pretty easy because I did them in August, and I was just like reviewing them. My favorite thing that I ever learned there is more far and more more, aka the genders for grandparents, grandma, grandpa, grandfather, grandmother. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, wait, do other people call them that, or was it just me? Um, but yeah, actually, I don't call them. That. I have granny and papa, so. <laughs> I'm way old, I'm, you know, but yeah, I finished it, yes, this was definitely a really, like, intense list of stuff to do, and I'm gonna try and not make it as intense for tomorrow, and, uh, hopefully it won't be nearly as intense, because that was, like, a lot to do, so I'm gonna try and not have such a big list for tomorrow, I need to go through and do my Anki for the day, um, but also, look at that, notes for negative, baby, and I just realized how much writing helps me, like, kind of, like, remember stuff and comprehend stuff, even if I don't fully understand it when I write it down, like, if I, I want to try and write it down without copying word for word, so I have to reread what it says several times to be able to write it down and so just like writing down negative statements negative sub clauses and negative questions just kind of like helped me like get it stuck in my brain so screw the no notes you know what i mean like if i want to take notes on a grammar subject your girl's gonna take notes on a grammar subject because I just like I realize it really helps me or more specifically if I'm interested in the topic it helps me because I took notes for Spanish and ya ya inte no wait ya y hug inte oh my god what's nothing <laughs> dang it um Okay, uh, I don't remember a single thing about my Spanish <laughs> at all, um, the grammar points more specifically, and um, obviously I don't know these negative stuff super well, but like I'm going to review them tomorrow and kind of just like get better at it, you know? I do wonder if I could find like... <sighs> I forgot the word. I wonder if I could find worksheets that deal with the negative stuff. Um, but on the other hand, your girl has another resource. So I added it to my Notion page and it is called Radio.Garden. And I found this because I was watching a video on Czech and learning Czech and Czech resources because um, a YouTuber I follow who tried to learn Czech last year said she couldn't find any resources. And then this video popped up and I was like, hmm, resources. Anyway, but Radio.Garden is a website that has like a globe on it and you can go to a region or a, st a, a stand, no, a state or a town or a country and it has uh, several radio stations from that country aka it has radio stations in your TL baby! 
yeah. So, uh, yes, I did look. There are radios, pop, like, radio stations from Stockholm, Sweden, that's self in Swedish. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat that up. Not right now, because I had a hard time with Hey Ninja. Uh, speaking of Hey Ninja, completely forgot I never even updated you guys on Hey Ninja. I watched two episodes of Hey Ninja, and it's so cute. The animation style is absolutely adorable. And also, I don't know what the heck's going on, because it's like, like, the, <laughs> basically, it's like these two kids, Georgie, Georgie or Georgia? Georgia, Georgie, and the other boy. <sighs> what the heck? Um, and they, they have, they know this person, B Chan maybe? Oh my god, why can't I remember a single thing? But they have this like grandparent or this friend, um, I think it is the little boy's, like, grandmother or something like that. And basically, they, she's, like, a martial artist, and so they play ninjas or whatever. So when something bad happens or they need to, like, fix something, like, they threw a frisbee into the neighbor's yard and they had to go get it, but they couldn't step on the grass. And my first thought was, just go knock on the door and ask if they could get it for you. But, okay, okay, okay. Um, they, like... It ended up like their imagination made it a like don't fall in the lava type situation and it was just so cute and it was so fun and I don't know what in the world the books are like because there's like 20 hundred books there's so many books <laughs> and my library has none of them so this poor poor family has to order in every single book from this Hey Ninja series to read them but Sorry, anyway, besides the point. Um, it's just, like, super cute. But, like, I didn't, like, really, like, pick up that it was, like, their imagination until, like, the end of episode one. So, like, s ten minutes in. Because <laughs> it's only 12-minute episodes. And, like, they just, like, turned into, like, cheetahs and suddenly had, like, whew, super speed. I was like, what in the world is going on? I don't understand a single thing. But I didn't understand a single thing. And the uh, subtitles are not the same as the audio and that bugs me because I am a subtitle person. I even in English I have English subtitles on, okay? It's just a thing I do. I watch the subtitles a lot more than I do the show. Even if I've seen the show six times. I'm looking at you last man Sandy. Anyway, I do have some words and I need to put these into Anki as well. So I have snaba, which means to hurry. Umlig, which means impossible. Snob, which means fast, vanta, which means wait, and I, I kind of knew that vanta meant wait, but I thought I'd just add it. I have kanir, kanir, which is bunnies, rimden, never heard that before, space, likaltil, which is break a leg apparently. I have boomling, which is boulder, and Oh my god, it's this letter. <laughs> I don't know what this letter sounds like. It changes all the time, I feel like. But, ukala. Ukala, which means invoke. Invoke? That's a word? Invoke. I invoke you, master. Okay, obviously English is hard, and I have gone off on a whole tangent, but... I definitely want to do more of Hey Ninja just because it's like so fun. I don't understand a single thing, but the animation is so stinking cute. And um, yeah, I did two episodes. I did five words per episode. I just wrote them down here on this piece of paper and I'm gonna add them to Anki and uh, we're gonna see how we do it. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. I don't plan on doing daily vlogs every day, but your girl just vlogs so much stuff that she has to end it here and do another day three. Um, anywho, uh, talk Sumeka for watching, and I will see you guys all tomorrow or two days from now, depending on how much footage I have tomorrow, for day numero, well, sorry, number three, and, uh, oh, dear. And uh, I obviously need to do some speaking practice, even though I don't know how to say many words. So uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. We'll see what I got. Okay. We'll see what happens. But 
thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. An update on Megan, just because I almost forgot about her and her progress. She watched a Korean game show tonight. Um, and she was, I had English subtitles on it, and she was starting to notice some of the letters that was like in the text and stuff like that on the screen. So that's fun. That's exciting. And, um, yeah. I'm out of breath. Jeez Louise. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. Love y'all so, so, so much. Talk for watching. I'll handle it. Oh, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye.